Hello everyone! Today, we're doing something that we've been wanting to do for a long while. Just about every TV show has references to other media. It can be as blatant as Nosferatu and Spongebob, or so brief that you might not have even noticed it. My life as a teenage robot is littered with this kind of content. There are so many references in the show that it's impossible to cover everything in a single video. With that in mind, we are going to make a series of videos searching for these references. We found a lot of these references with the help of members of the My Life as a Teenage Robot fanbase Discord server, and we'll credit them as we move along. So without any further ado, let's get started. The phrase, only you can prevent forest fires, is an iconic line from American pop culture. The phrase comes from Smokey Bear, the mascot of the United States Forest Service. In the episode Raggedy Android, Smokey can be seen on a sign, saying the beginning of his catchphrase. If you're into music from the 70s and 80s, you're probably familiar with Paul Simon. If you're not, he was half of the bigger-than-life duo Simon and Garfunkel. His 1986 hit, You Can Call Me Al, is quoted in Last Action Zero. You can see the words incidents, accidents, hints and allegations written above doors. These lyrics are taken directly from the song. And I'd play the song here if it wasn't for copyright. The lyrics are on screen, though. In my opinion, Aliens is one of the greatest action movies of the 1980s. It's the sequel to the horror masterpiece Alien. One of the most iconic lines from the movie is... Get away from her, you bitch! Victim of Fashion parodies this moment here. I think this is a really clever reference, and it's one of my all-time favorites from the show. Back to Raggedy Android, there's an incredibly brief moment where you can see a man holding a variety of stuffed animals. Fans of older cartoons might recognize some of the characters here. From older Nicktoons, you can see Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy and Daggett from Angry Beavers. You can also see Felix the Cat. And I definitely recognize the gorilla character, but I can't seem to put a name on him. I'd appreciate it if you could tell me if you know who it is. Yeah, we all know that was Mr. Potato Head. This happened in good old Sheldon. What can I say? They can't all be subtle. Similarly, you can see two puppets named Ert and Bernie in Puppet Bride. I'm not sure what that could be referring to. Oh hey, Pinocchio is in this one too. In This Time with Feeling, we see a character named Himcules. This is obviously a reference to Hercules, but there could possibly be a bit more to it. While this isn't confirmed to be the source of the reference, Bruce Campbell was in an old show called Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. He didn't play Hercules in the show, so this is probably just a coincidence. In the same episode, you can see Himcules intimidate a group of bodybuilders who look strikingly similar to the Three Stooges. I'm not sure why the people behind the show saw these guys and decided, hey, let's make them buff. In Never Say Uncle, when Jenny goes through Nora's phone numbers, you can see names like Albert Einstein, the founder of the Theory of Relativity, and Robert Oppenheimer, one of the key figures behind the Manhattan Project. This is a pretty smart reference from the smart people behind the show. The same people put this incredibly intelligent shout-out to your mom on the list in Stage Fright. It's natural for them to feel proud of that hilarious original joke, so they congratulated themselves in Teenage Mutant Ninja Troubles by putting their names on Brit's clipboard. You can see the show's creator, Rob Renzetti, and the art director, Alex Kerwin there. And that's all that we have for today. And while there's some obvious ones that we haven't covered, they'll appear in a future episode. If you'd like to help us find more Easter eggs for future videos, join our Discord server. We have a chat in there specifically made for discovering more references. For now, please let us know if you like this concept for videos in the comments below. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description. No. Oh my god. What is that? I don't know. Oh.